Hi friends, welcome you for the class today. I am today starting a new chapter called Constructions. Now, this you have been doing these constructions, a number of them. For this 10th standard, they have prescribed some constructions which are, we are going to do it. Now, some of the constructions which we have studied in the earlier classes may be useful to us in during these constructions also. So I am going to just revise a few of them which are useful to us from the point of view of doing these things. Now, the first construction probably you have studied is how to bisect a given straight line. That is the first one. Maybe in 8th standard, 7th standard somewhere, you would have done that. They would have done that. Here, what they, what they give is, they give a straight line. A straight line, giving a straight line means they will tell its length is so much. Now they can say, AB is a straight line or PQ is 9 centimeters or 9.5 centimeters or 10 centimeters, something like that. And they will say, bisect that, bisect that straight line. So what we do is, first we have to start, we have to, uh, we have to draw that straight line the given straight line first we will draw now i am not drawing it to scale i am simply drawing a straight line now let us say this is a given straight line this is a given straight line that means its length is given and i have marked that length there so this is the given straight line let us say this is this end is p and that end is q this is P, this is Q, they have given the length of the straight line and I have drawn the straight line according to that length. Now, they have asked me to bisect it. Bisect means divide it into two equal parts. Divide the given line into two equal parts. Now, without using the scale, we have to do it. That is what we call a construction. So what we do is, we take approximately more than half of this line as the radius in your compass. You will take a radius with your compass. It should be slightly more than the more than half of this. Then you draw an arc here. You draw an arc on this side. Then the same radius with same radius with same radius, this is important, with same radius, skew as center, again we will draw two arcs to cut the earlier arcs at two different point, points. Let me call this as x, y. Now, if you join this line, these two points, that is x and y, if they are joined, now this line, this line, is called the perpendicular bisector. Uh, I think this is called the perpendicular bisector. Uh, X Y is the perpendicular bisector of P Q. Now that means this point where it is cutting this, you have to draw these lines as thin as possible. These arcs, this line, because we don't want this to be uh, projected. Of uh, this thing. Now, this point O is the midpoint, that is PO is equal to OQ. So, that is the bisector. This XY is called the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Now, if you want to divide a straight line into four equal parts, four equal parts, what I will do is now again I will take here uh, more than half of OP or PO as the radius, draw two arcs. With the same radius, draw two arcs here to cut each other. If you join these two points, now this is the midpoint of this. Similarly, if I take more than half here and draw two arcs, this line, it cuts this. Now, this line PQ is divided into four equal parts, four equal parts, eight equal parts, like that we can do it. 
we can do that that way so this is one of the construction which you have already studied and maybe you have forgotten it i am once again doing that because this is helpful for us in doing the constructions in 10th standard next next is suppose they have given a angle given an angle means they have given this angle uh, some angle aob aob is 40 degree you draw that angle you make that angle using a protractor you make that angle next what you do is it should be bisected that is this angle must be divided into two equal parts then what i do is take any convenient radius in your compass any convenient radius draw two arcs like this with the same radius draw two arcs to cut each other with this a center and that a center to cut each other join this point to o now this line bisects this angle into two parts that is it divides this angle boa into i will if i call this as something like x now box will be equal to aox that is called this ox is called the bisector of angle boa so this is bisecting an angle now <coughs> next drawing a perpendicular to a given straight line without using the protractor now let us say we have a straight line we have a straight line any one straight line this is the given straight line ab is a straight line this end is a this end is b now at some point p i want to draw a perpendicular to this line now what i have to do is take any convenient radius take any convenient radius in your compass and what you do is draw a draw an arc like this with any convenient radius draw an arc like this then with the same radius draw an arc like this draw an arc like this with same radius i have drawn an arc here from here to here and here to here now with the same radius with the same radius this a center draw an arc this a center draw an arc they cut each other at one point if you join this this line will be perpendicular to the line ab at p anyway you can draw a perpendicular like that so this is another construction which we will be using in the present your 10th standard constructions <coughs> now what you have is you have i think you have the first construction that you have is dividing a given line the first one is dividing a given line a given straight line given straight line into a number of equal parts equal parts this is the first one i think you have so here a straight line is given they give you a straight line that means its length is given maybe some 10 cm something like that divide it into six equal parts for example six equal parts now what we do is we draw this is ab this is ab ab is the given line that means its length is given now we have to divide it into let us say six equal parts now what we do is without taking the measurement we have to divide it what we do is we draw a line like this either this side or that side we draw a straight line like this 
making an acute angle making an acute angle either this side you can draw or that side you can draw this should be this angle should be an acute angle that means it should be less than 90 degree then what you do is you take any convenient radius with a as center 1 next this as center 2 3 4 5 6 mark 6 points you have to mark 6 points on this line then this is point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 point number 4 point number 5 point number 6 they should all be at equal distance you have to take your compass take any convenient radius don't change that radius mark 6 points you have to divide 6 equal parts you have to divide this line into 6 equal parts so 6 parts then what you do is join the 6th part the last point join it to the end of the line that is B join it to the to the line B uh, to the point B jo uh, join this to the point B then from all these points from 5 this 5th point draw a line parallel to this 6B then draw a line like this parallel to like this draw a line parallel to that here now these points will get you the number of equal parts if you do it correctly you will get number of equal parts this is how a straight line can be divided into any number of e given equal parts the given straight line is to be divided into a number of equal parts now there is one more way it can be done that is what you do is you draw a line an acute angle like this you draw another line like this with same angles this angle must be equal to this angle now if you mark six equal parts here six equal parts here one two three four five six convenient radius with any convenient radius similarly mark here also call this as a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 call this as b1 b2 this should be same the distances must be same b3 b4 b5 b6 now join join these points a1 b6 a2 b5 3 where these lines cut now a6 b1 where these lines cut these that is those are the points it gets divided into a number of equal parts required number of equal parts this is one way of doing it another way of doing it next I think the second construction you have is they give you a triangle they give you a triangle now the, they give you a triangle means they give the data required to draw the triangle like three sides of a triangle are given so let us take one example I will take one example from the uh, book they will give a triangle like this construct a triangle of sides 4 cm 5 cm and 6 cm construct a triangle and then a triangle similar to a whose sides are 2 third of the corresponding sides of the first triangle 
but they have given they have given you they have asked you to construct a triangle they have asked you to construct a triangle so the sides are given one side is let us say this is uh this is 6 cm one side is 6 cm then the other two sides are given as 5 cm and 4 cm so take 5 cm radius 5 cm radius 5 cm radius draw an arc then take 4 cm radius draw an arc they cut each other somewhere there you join this point to those points now we got the required triangle let me call this as abc abc is a triangle abc is a triangle in which this is i will call this as abc any name you can give this is 6 cm this is 5 cm and this is 4 cm so i have constructed this triangle now he says construct a similar triangle to this which is two third of that that means each side should be two third of that for that what i do is i will draw a line like this an acute angle now this is uh, say ax take a convenient radius divide it into a convenient radius 1 2 3 3 then join this last one this is a1 a2 and a3 join a3 to b join a3 to b a3 to b now a3 to b now it should be two third of that our required and this thing is now draw a line parallel to this like this parallel to the first one so that it is this is a this is b dash this is b dash then from d dash draw a line parallel to bc bc like this now let it cut this ac at c dash now a b dash c dash a b dash c dash is a triangle which is similar to a b c and it is two third of the triangle a b c this is one of the constructions that you have in the uh, 10th standard syllabus you have a number of problems similar problems only those sides will be different and the ratio in which it is to be divided will must be different Huh? Uh, construct a triangle with sides 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm then another triangle whose sides are 7 by 5 of the corresponding sides 7 by 5 means it should be it is bigger than the given triangle the original triangle that also can be done bigger triangle can be made by <coughs> making 7 parts 7 parts and extending this the this fifth one will be joined here 5 by 7 he says 7 by 5 fifth will be joined here then you will from the seventh point you draw a parallel then draw a parallel from outside so that also can be done here what he says what he says is construct a triangle whose sides are 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm and draw a similar triangle whose sides are 7 by 5. Here the ratio is numerator is bigger than the denominator. Here new, denominator is bigger than the numerator. So the, the triangle that you get, the second triangle that we get is lesser than or smaller than the original triangle here it will be bigger now here what we have to do is again construct a triangle 
say I take one side, say seven centimeter here, seven centimeter, then take one side as five centimeter, five centimeter arc here, then another one six centimeter arc there, it will cut. So join this, join this here, join these points, so you got the triangle, you can call by any name, XYZ, LMM, PQR, I will call it as PQR, no problem, PQR. Now, ah, here, I will divide this side into seven equal parts. Take seven, take a line like this. Then take any convenient radius, seven. I want seven by five. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is the seventh part. So Q one, Q two, Q three, Q four, Q five, Q six, Q seven. Now it should be seven by five. Denominator is five. So what you do is. Join the fifth point here, fifth point to R, fifth point to R, fifth point to R. Then extend this, extend this, draw a line, this is R, draw a line from 7 to this. This is R dash, R dash. Now produce this line further and draw a line parallel to, parallel to this PR through R dash. Now you get here P dash. Now P dash Q R dash is 7 by 5th, 7 5th of the uh, triangle PQR like that. You will have to do it like this. This is one thing. Then second thing is the next thing is drawing drawing tangents to a given circle from an external point. External point. So what they do they give us a circle, a circle is given, a circle is given means its radius is given, its radius is given and a point is given, they give us a point, now for example OP, they will say uh, this is O is the center, there is a point, there is a point P, which is at so much distance from O. They will give this distance OP and they will ask us to draw a pair of tangents. You can draw only two tangents, only a pair of tangents can be drawn here. So they will ask us to draw a pair of tangents to the circle from the external point P. Now to do that, what we have to do is we have to bisect this line PO. I told you how to bisect take more than half of PO as radius, draw two arcs, then O as center, draw two arcs with same radius. So join these two. Now these lines, the construction lines must be as thin as possible. So you get this point. You get this point. This is, I will call this as, say something x, this is the, 
this is the midpoint of PO. So this line is the bisector of this thing. Now with this center, X as center, XO as radius, X as center, XO as radius, draw a arc like this. To cut this circle at two points A and B. A and B. Now join the points, join PA and PB. PA and PB. PA and PB if you join you will get you will see that you have got two tangents these are the two tangents PA and PB are the two tangents to the circle they have given the radius of the circle so you draw that circle then the point is given this point is they will say the point P is at a distance of 10 centimeters 5 centimeters 6 centimeters something like that from the center so from the center of the circle, mark that distance, call that point by some name P. Then PO is to be bisected. It should be divided into two equal parts. I told you how to bisect a straight line. So you get the midpoint. Taking X as the, the center, XO as radius, draw an arc like this to cut the circle at two points A and B. Join PA and PB, you have got the tangents. This is how a pair of tangents should be drawn to a given circle. This is normally asked. I have seen in your papers this dividing a uh, drawing a triangle, similar triangle, and this they are normally asking this. This is one uh, such thing. There are many problems in your textbook or from your this thing. You can do them. Next. Next. Uh, He has asked this problem, which problem he says draw draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degree. Now here, here he has given a circle, the radius of the circle is 5 cm and he says draw two, two tangents, two tangents, now the inclination of both of them, this, this angle he has given, this angle is 60 degree, if this angle is 60 degree, then angle BOA or AOB, that is this angle will be 120 degree, this because PAOB is a quadrilateral, the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral must be 360. Now this is 90, this is 90. So they are 180, they are uh, supplementary angles. So these two must be supplementary angles. So that means the sum of these two must be 180 degree. If this is 60 degree, this should be 120 degree. Now how to draw this? Now what you do is, first you draw a circle of radius 5 cm, a circle of radius 5 cm, a circle of radius 5 cm, mark its center, this is let us say the center, uh, draw one radius, one radius, now draw another radius, this angle is 120 degree, I told you that he wants the angle of inclination between the tangent should be 60 degree. So you draw this, call this as point O, this is A and this is B. Now what you do is, what you do is draw a perpendicular to OA at A, perpendicular to OA at A, how I told you. Take any convenient radius, A as center, draw an arc like this. You can draw even half semicircle. Now, with the same radius, draw an arc here. Again, draw an arc here. They will cut like this. Then, with this with this point as center, draw an arc. With this point as center, draw an arc. Now, draw this line. This will be perpendicular to this. 
OA. Similarly, draw a perpendicular to OB at B. Where these two cut, here they will cut. This call this point as T or something like that. Now this angle will be 60 degree. You can check up whether by calculation you can check up whether this uh, they are perpendicular. This this is O O T is equal to hypotenuse. You can find out that, or you can find out the length of these things. You can check whether it is correct or not. So this is called constructions. In this, you will get about five six marks. I think at least two constructions you get one in triangle and the other one in circle. So we have to. We are, I have completed the uh, this thing constructions and you can do it.